Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a video about Team Fortress 2 automated trading sites. These include Scrap.tf, SDN Trading, Manco.trade, basically any other of the kind of completely automated trading sites. And a lot of people seem to have the conception that these sites are scams for various different reasons. And I'm just going to be like running through some comments that I've received on videos where I've advertised Manco.trade that's been sponsored and stuff. And just kind of run through um, how Scrap.tf, how these sort of big trading sites work and if they're supposedly scams because that's what a lot of people seem to think. So the first thing that actually popped up a lot more than I was thinking is going to be the misconception that logging into one of these sites involves you putting in your Steam information. So yeah, a lot of the comments on my videos just kind of say like, oh, I don't trust any site that puts, that I need to put my Steam info in. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll put a bunch of screenshots on the screen now. But essentially, um, it's, it's not your Steam information. If you're logged in on the Steam website already, you log in through something what's known as the API. And this is the exact same thing that you log into outpostbackpack.tf, any site with that allows to access, that allows to like see your inventory and get your trade link and stuff. Uh, the API is not related to your Steam information. Um, it's nothing to do with that. No one can like hack you from logging into a website with Steam API. If you actually, I know there's a scam out there with fake trading sites where they replicate a Steam login page, but one way to tell this apart is obviously the not secure thing in the top URL bar. And also, if you're logged in on the main Steam web page, then you should be logged in on Steam and it'll just say do you want to log in with API when you log into one of these trading sites. So that's the first misconception, you, do, you don't actually put any personal information in. It's not like you need to put in your Steam login and verification code and stuff because if it's a true trading website, if it's a true like official website then all you'll need to log in with is the API. Another reason people seem to think these sites are scams like Scrap.tf etc is because of the extortionate prices they pay. So what I'm going to do now is head over to Scrap.tf and show you the prices that they pay for my unusuals and I'll also do the same on the other websites. Okay, so the place we're going to be starting at is my backpack.tf profile. Here we're going to be taking a look at different unu unusuals I own, ranging in gen, etc, and looking at the prices they're worth. So for example, we've got this Blizzardy Storm Exquisite Rack that was kindly donated to me for 85 keys. It's worth 85 keys. Of course, I don't trade trade uh, donated unusuals, so it's going to be staying in my backpack, but hypothetically, this is 85 keys. Uh, Burning Beanie, 56, and let's just take a look at Halloween. So 33 keys for this Starstorm Modest, and 22 keys for this Demo Hat. So the first place we're going to be looking at is STN, which is down. It's temporarily disabled while they're working on an improved version. If that improved version ends up being better than these other two sites, I'm not sure. Um... On to Scrap.tf, they pay 40 keys, and basically 41 keys for my exquisite rack, which is 44 keys less than Backpack.tf price. They pay 30, basically 31 keys for my burning beanie, which is like, uh, just a quick refresh, 56 and 31, so that's about 24, 25 keys, something like that, um, keys knocked off, which is a pretty big portion for a first gen hat. Um, the Star Storm Modest, which was 33, is down to 18, which is nearly, I would say around 50% 50, 50 almost, but overall in total I think it's about 15 keys or so, give or take, and they interestingly don't take the unusual taunt, um, so that's pretty interesting, so... On to Manco.trade, they pay 45 keys and 20 ref for the rack, we'll round that up to 46. They pay 34, which is a tiny bit more acceptable for the Burning Beanie, uh, and 20 for the Modest Metal Pile. Now, they only pay 8 keys for this 21 key taunt, and if we take a look at the buy listings, they're also only 8 keys, and the sale listings are even 15, so I mean, this is probably due a drop anytime soon. Look at all these listings, man. Anyway, uh, the point I want to make here is, you may notice these items are heavily discounted, okay? Like, this is over 50% off. A lot of people would say this is a scam. They're only giving me 8 keys for my 20 key taunt. They're only giving me 40 keys for my 80 key hat. You've got to understand that for this whole banking system to work, even on Scrap.tf as well, they need to buy low 
so they can sell for affordable prices. So if we go on scrap.tf now and buy unusuals, once they actually decide that I'm indeed not a robot, when I actually get authenticated, so let's just see what unusuals we can buy. The thing you're going to notice is the price they're selling for is also lower than backpack.tf price, which means you can also quick buy. The reason these sites buy for so low is so they can sell for a, like an affordable price. The only reason people sell to scrap.tf and mango.trade and stn when it's up is generally for quick pure so um for example like you'll see a lot of these are like third gens and stuff and the chances are someone just wanted to get them out of their backpack and that's the reason that they pay so low it's just so they can sell low as well because at the end of the day they're not going to give you like a normal quick sale price of like 25 to 30 percent off because that means to make a profit they'd have to sell it at full price so if they offered me like 65 70 keys for this rack they'd have to pay 85 keys or, or they'd have to sell it for 85 keys and realistically why would someone pay 85 keys for it from scrap.tf when there may be a seller for lower than that or why would someone pay 85 keys from scrap.tf when that's just the normal backpack.tf price that everyone else is buying for so or, or selling for rather so that's what you've got to realize is that to actually make this whole banking system work on every single one of these sites they need to buy very low to sell for low and um if you don't want to sell for that then i mean you can go out of your way to find a quick seller but as you see if i wanted to get quick pure from a buy order on backpack.tf for my hellish inferno deep fried desire which was also donated so not for trade but hypothetically i'd only be able to get 8.18 keys and that's the highest buy order there is and that's just the quick buying price so Generally, you may be able to find buy orders for a bit higher, but if you're not, like, that's the kind of price you can expect uh, from these, like, instant pure services. If you list it up for a quick sale, you'll probably be able to get more for it. It's just quick pure, and that's how these sites function, and it's quick buying of unusual. Say I really wanted, like, a, a nice medic unusual, I had 88 keys pure and 26.44 refined in my backpack, then it gives me an opportunity to buy this for a discounted price if there's none on backpack.tf etc and the person who sold it probably sold it for like 60 50 maybe even keys and that's just how the kind of site works so it'd be interesting to see actually if i sold my blizzardy storm rack how much they'd actually sell it for after they give me like 40 keys it'd just be interesting but anyway i hope you guys understand like how these trading sites work and they're not actually a scam it's literally like the unusual system anyway it's literally just a place where you can get quick pure um it's essentially just selling it to a quick seller it's just done through an automated process uh the buy orders generally won't be much higher than the scrap.tf etc prices and it, it's just generally like it's i don't know man it's really hard to explain but if once you kind of see past the fact that it's you know they buy low to sell low you can understand why they lowball so much and if you don't want to sell it for solo just sell it to a normal buyer don't sell it to an automated site one thing i just want to make super clear is that this isn't like targeted for everyone you know the the target audience of these sites isn't everyone it's only people that want to quick sell their items for quick pure so if you want to sell your item for full price and pure obviously an automated trading site isn't the best place to look for that and that's what i think a lot of people are kind of misconstruing but yeah guys i just wanted to make this video to clear a few things up people don't set uh, tend to be too happy when i do sponsored videos for like manco.trade etc and it's completely understandable but if it's not a service that interests you or it's not a service where you'd quick sell your unusuals then just don't like just quick sell it to someone else or just sell it for a normal price or just trade it as usual the service is specifically targeted for people who want quick pure and then the site can also sell on those unusuals for a discounted price for people who want the unusuals or are, are, are looking to un unload their pure and kind of invest it into unusuals so i hope you guys kind of see that aspect of it um as long as it's like logging in through the api then you should be safe on that part it's but i may make a video in the future about these fake sites that are popping up because um there's like a the, i'll go into it at another point but basically there's these fake trading sites where you log in um through a fake steam website and it gets all your details but yeah guys that's just about it for this video thank you all so much for watching let me know your thoughts down below if there's any other kind of scam things etc you'd like me to talk about then once again let me know down in the comments below and i may make a video about it in the near future just make sure it's not something i haven't already covered before because generally that tends to be requested a lot when it's something i've already spoken about and I, i'm not going to kind of make the video again but yeah guys if there's anything i should make a video about to let people know and like to let them be wary uh comment below Hello.
And thanks again for watching guys and peace.